Last Vlogmas was all about riding other people's horses, and it's safe to say some owners were more supportive than others. What are you doing with your hands back down here? This year it's back. I'll be riding even spicier horses than last year, but of course there's a twist. It's time for the pros to ride mine too. Whee! Welcome to Vlogmas 2023. Hello everyone and welcome to day three of Vlogmas. So I've come from Norfolk to Warrington, quite a drive. And Freddie's advice for today was to just say yes. Now I'll admit I've had to get my brave pants on for this one because I think it's going to be pushing me out of my comfort zone even more so than rearing bareback on a horse. So we're going to wander around here and meet our hosts for today. Found you. Hi. <laughs> you look so sheepish Hi. then. Hello. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. So this is Jay Buxton from Strides Equestrian, a great British show jumper, five star Grand Prix, very high basically. We do we do the best we can. The best we, we can. Thank our horses for that. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, thank you so much for having us here today. I'm gonna to be riding one of your lovely horses. Indeed, yeah. And having a lesson from you. Yeah, we'll put you to the test. Oh god, no no no. It's it's a case <laughs> of just being nice. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not the bravest rider, but very thankful for coming here and having a lesson. It'd be no, great it'd be experience. Great. It'd be great. Very exciting. So we've got a beautiful yard here. Is that right if we have a little wander around yeah, before we meet the horse? Yeah, absolutely. Brill. Um, yeah, so this is our outside yard. Um, we have a variety of clients' horses here, um, younger horses, um, mainly stay in this outside yard. Um, we have nine stables uh, in this courtyard with their own tack room and wash box. Wow. Um, yeah, and we keep everything nice and as I say, it is all pristine. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do our best. We are, we're lucky to have some good team members. Yeah, yeah. To, to keep it all spick and span. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then where's the arena? Is that that way? So the arena's this way. Let's go have a look. As I say, I have been stalking your website and seen some <laughs> very impressive drone shots of the arena. So how many horses have you got here in total at the minute then? At the minute we have 14. Uh, 14. We have a capacity for 19. So. Well, we have a few available available spots. Oh, the there, we, there we go, guys! <laughs> <That's> availability. <laughs> and do you ride all of those, or does Paige ride as well? Um, yeah, my wife Paige rides a little bit, and we also have uh, a Tia Bussy. She's our right. resident rider, um, so she helps do a lot of the riding too. Oh wow! This is so smart. So this is my office. <laughs> <laughs> wow! This is gorgeous. So this, yeah, this is where we spend all of our all of our days, really. Um, it's nice to have an arena, a good size. We can yeah. work the horses in a forward rhythm and build a variety of courses for training, for competition and students. It's you know it works brilliant. Yeah, I love the curved bit at the end. Yeah, so we'll that, one. that actually, like <laughs> yeah, no, basically that was just a design that. In a normal arena, corners tend to be wasted, and yeah. the, the curve actually helps. Oh, so that with must the keep like, a bit more yeah, forward as well. Definitely, it, it makes a really big difference and keeps it all smooth. <sighs> so this is so gorgeous. I'm excited to ride it. Yeah, here. we'll. Uh, and I love that the little later, viewing yeah. like bauble. Yeah, so, very Christmassy, guys. Yeah, that's Give it tips where on her. everybody gets to stay out the weather. Apart from me, I'm normally the one getting wet, <laughs> but, braving it. Yeah. <laughs> So, but uh, but oh, no, we're very lucky to have this these is facilities. Absolutely amazing. Oh, okay. So, Where next? Okay, so. Also, this is fab. This is like rubber. Yeah. So because we're on a bit of a slope here, um, it can be you know concrete or things like that can be quite slippy. Yeah. So we put this. It's almost like a rubber tarmac. So good. So it's so grippy so and good. safe for the horses. Yeah. As soon as I stepped in it, I was like, oh, <laughs> spongy. <laughs> Okay, so this uh, was actually the original arena oh. uh, when we first moved to, to this facility. As you can see, it's a lot smaller and a lot older, but it's actually brilliant now for when we have young horses, when we're starting yeah. those off to have a bit smaller, safer environment. We also lunge and we have a, a pen there, so yeah. in the winter we can let the horses go in, blow off a bit of steam. Um, and have a roll, you know, without getting up to their knees in mud. And yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's pretty safe and uh, 
Yeah, oh, keeps that's them, so good. Keeps so you do tidy. loads of like producing with young horses, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We try to. We really like spending time with them, you know. So we're never, never in a rush with them. So you know, it's lovely if you can have horses yeah. for four, five, six years and produce them all the way from from start to to Grand Prix level, really. Yeah. God, that's amazing. So incredible. That must be crazy to say. Like I've produced this horse right up to the top level. Yeah, no, it's great. We've been very lucky to have some very talented horses, and I must say, like the the horses make you. You know, you you don't make the horses. The horses make you. So it's we're, we're privileged to have worked with some talented horses, and they've given just as much back to us. Well, so it's that's great. Lovely. These are turn up pens. Yeah, these are something. I had an idea about. I try my best to keep the horses as safe as they can. Being quite highly sprung competition horses, they yeah, like yeah. to endanger themselves quite a lot. <laughs> so, um, so basically, we have six turnout pens here. Oh my god! And um, they're all the same size. Yeah. And they're, they're round so that basically, you know, when you see horses running up and down the fields and they always skid and stop in the corners and, then go, yeah. and spin round or slip over. So that eliminates that problem. Oh. And the fence being high. Um, that's a proper show jumper height fence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't need that. <laughs> it resists the temptation that they're going to jump out. Yeah. If they do manage to jump out, they can definitely stay. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got our then police on horse. we've got a jumper. <laughs> Um, but yeah, again, it's a safe environment for the horses yeah. to, we, we love them to be in the field, have a bit of downtime. Yeah. Um, however, it's all about trying to keep them as safe, the safe, safe as possible. And um, I guess having these so they're not touching as well, would you sort of... Yeah, yeah, and so like and obviously the horses, we have, they're traveling quite a lot. So anything that may have picked up a virus or something, yeah, they're not going to touch course. noses. Um, Likewise, they can all be out together, but not touching, so they're not going to kick. You know, it's all it's all yeah. safe, and uh, and they really go in there and relax. Yeah, actually, um, it's a nice, quiet area. Oh, that's so, so nice. We're very lucky so nice for them. Yeah, no, it's so important, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. So at the end of the day, horses need to remember they are horses. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So go in, get the heads down, and have a roll, and exactly enjoy life. No, 100%. Should we go and see the main barn? Yeah, I'm excited for this bit. Oh, wow, this is nice. Okay, so yeah, this is our main barn. Uh, we have 10 uh, Roar and Rube stables in here. Um, this generally is where the older um, competition horses live. Is it like a hierarchy? Yeah, basically, <laughs> we, we say here. they're promoted when they come in here. So um, yeah, this, this is the main focus of the yard, really. Oh, this um, is good. Who has the, uh, the little toy? So that's um, <laughs> one of my best horses, Ashdale Legend. Uh, <laughs> he's actually just left to go to a competition in France. Oh wow. Um, so yeah, he loves the toys. He's, he's a character. He's always finding something to get in trouble with. So that is so funny. Anything to keep him occupied. Oh, bless him. So he goes to France and you, will you catch him up? Yeah, so I'll, um, they'll spend a couple of days traveling down there, um, stop over stables, take the time. Um, and then I can concentrate on the other horses at home while they're yeah. taking the time and resting when they get there so that they're, they're well rested and ready for competition. God, it's such a big there. team effort, isn't it? So many moving parts. Yeah, it's, it's big logistics and again, we're lucky to have such a good team of people to, to make everything possible, you know. Oh. So, uh, so no, we're, we're very, very lucky. Oh, amazing. Well, thank you for the art tour. Might have to have a little uh, sneak around and then should we go and meet my horse? That sounds good. Yeah. Exciting. Definitely. All right. I'll catch up with you in a second. Yeah, <laughs> I've been sneaking around this barn because it is so gorgeous. Hello. But there's also a reason I've been spending some extra time in here, and that is because Rauer and Rube, the manufacturers of these stables, are the very kind sponsor of this video. Now, unfortunately, they are not giving away a full barn of stables, but there is an amazing prize to be won. So that is two tickets to go to the London GCT show next year. So it's based in Chelsea. You'll be able to take yourself and a friend. 
Hello, little kisses. And go and have the best time and also visit their stand there. So they'll have a big stable front. You can see the products for yourself. They are just the most premium stable brand out there. You can see they're absolutely gorgeous. As soon as you walk into this barn, it's proper like jaw dropping. They're just so, so stunning. Definitely worth checking out and a very, very generous prize from them. So big, big thank you to Ryan Rube. I'll leave all the details down below. Remember you need to head over to Instagram to enter that giveaway. Give them a follow. They're definitely worth following because oh, honestly, the pictures and the videos they put up are so stunning. That comment may or may not have sent me down a rabbit hole of looking at some of the most beautiful yards in the world and I was hardly going to not share it with you guys so I thought we could just be in awe together of these stunning Rau and Rube projects. So they are actually based in Germany but they operate worldwide so these stunning yards are literally all over the globe and if you ever get the chance to visit one I highly suggest you do because they are just masterpieces. You might just recognise this one here. Just get real stable envy every time I see them. Right, we are going to go and meet Happy now. Sadly not riding you. I've heard you are pretty OG. Yes, the initial <laughs> top horse I was told. But I'm going to go and find my horse now. Genuinely don't want to leave that barn. It's so gorgeous. Such an amazing prize as well. Oh, really want to go to that show. It looks incredible. Anyway, I spy a Hello horse there. and a J. Is this happy? This is happy. This is your ride today. Hello, gorgeous. Um, yeah, she's wow. She's smart. She's a lovely, lovely horse. Um, she's owned by the Grek family. Uh, we're very lucky to have them trust us with her. Um, Osha, Osha Grek, she's ridden her herself um, and I've been lucky enough to steal her for a couple of competitions this year. Uh, she's actually competed up to 145 level. 145? Yeah, she's, she's really cool. Um, How old is she? She's 10 years old she's now. Um, she's oh, you're in your prime, girly. She's got a heart of gold. And um, yeah, she's she's pretty. She's oh my god, she is so uh, pretty. She's been very much looking forward to meeting you, actually. <laughs> I mean, I've been very much looking forward to meeting her, but also a bit nervous. Show jumping is definitely my like nemesis yeah, of the disciplines. I, I think. Would, I would say we'll we'll see how you get on, but I how think is she like? Is she forward? Is she long striding? She, yeah, she's she's obviously she knows. She knows her job. Yeah. Um, she loves jumping, so at times she can get going, but she's she's extremely forgiving, Good. always listening. Tick. <laughs> <laughs> always listening to what a rider wants, you know. Okay. Um, at the same time, she knows her job, so she generally makes us riders' life a lot easier than than most horses. So. And you said you're not going to get on her first and give me a demo. No, I'm going to throw you in at the deep end Perfect. today. And. Uh, and see what we can unravel. Oh, oh my gosh, exciting. Okay, well I'll go and get my stuff on. Yep. Hopefully um, we'll have some tack on her, yeah? We will get her ready for you. <laughs> Love that. Oh, you're so gorgeous. Right, let's go. See you soon. How did I miss the uh, whopping big treadmill uh, <laughs> earlier? <laughs> is that what this is? Yeah, so this is a dry treadmill. Uh, it's amazing for us, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, for the older horses, we can... What kind of, like, what kind of speeds do they get to on this? Uh, they could trot on it, we just walk on it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> power walk. But it's more as well, we can, we can put it on an incline, so you can literally raise it and, and I guess better than a walker because the they're not going in circles. Yeah, so I actually don't have a horse walker here because I don't really like them walking on a circle. Yeah. I don't find it's good for them. Um, and also, it, as much as they're a great asset in many big yards with a lot of horses, for us, I like to be a bit more one-to-one um, -on, -one on the horses and, and know exactly what they're doing. Um, and with competition horses, this lets us get them fit and strong, as well as you know, getting them out of the stables yeah. and stretching the legs. So, oh my 
On days when the weather's bad, it that comes in very incredible. useful. Do you ever get on it just for the lols? Uh, it has been known, actually, <laughs> yeah. This I want to, to see. If you're not riding, you definitely have to, to get on the treadmill to at the end. Test it out, see how fast sprint. it goes more than anything. But, uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's a brilliant tool and one which actually we do use a lot. That is so cool, so cool. And then is this all Rao and Rube as well? Or yeah, what's it? yeah. Um, the, the division is Rao and Rube. Um, yeah, it's it's brilliant. You've it got just your heat keeps lamps everything there. tidy. The heat lamps keeps the horses warm, warms the muscles up, um, and when they come in, again loosens them up and yeah. allows them to dry properly. Oh, it's so smart. Happy, you look a bit bigger now, darling. <laughs> Have you grown coming out of the stable? She's growing in excitement for you. She's also fully clipped and it's quite cold. Yeah, she's going to be fresh. <laughs> we'll get that sick, sticky spray out for you. Happy, be nice. <laughs> be nice. Comfy saddle. Okay. Oh my god, it's so warm. warm. Yeah. I was like, oh, someone sat in this. No, it's just the heat lamps. Uh, your stirrups are okay, or? Um, you tell me, boss. I don't know. Do you need to chill up? Guess. <laughs> it's whatever you feel comfortable with. Anyway. You mm. can walk around for a little bit. <laughs> nice. Is that your little mascot down there? That's my little mascot, yeah. <laughs> if you're in so trouble, funny. you go and have a word with him. At the end of the lesson, you can talk about what you've done right and wrong. I think my biggest thing with jumping is that I get re like, I'm very much pull for a stride rather than push for a stride. And I think I always break the rhythm because okay. I get a bit nervous. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, that's, I think that's the, the worst thing for me. So. Okay, perfect. <laughs> we will work on that then. <laughs> we'll have that fixed by the end, that'll be yeah. fine. Uh, yeah, so whenever you're ready, uh, if your stirrups and that feel good, just have a little trot round, get to know the arena, get to feel how she feels. Um, okay. Test your brakes out. Make okay. sure you can go back to walk and trot again and you know, start feeling where those buttons are on her. Yeah. That's good, that's looking really good. So you can see already like she's now moving a lot freer, you're letting her trot forward. That's really good. I think one thing a lot of people try to do is work the horses too early. Yeah. You know, the first 10, 15 minutes, just spend a bit of time trotting and cantering them around, allow them to go forward and loosen those muscles up. Yeah. I think when we wake up in the morning, we're not, uh, you know, we're not, we're not taking our best steps. Yeah, It exactly. takes us a little while to have our cup of tea and our we to Bix before we're ready to go. So <laughs> the same with the horses, you know, I'll let them stretch and loosen up. It's, that's looking really good. Good girl. And then when, you, when you're ready, Meg, have a little canter and again, do a few circles. Okay. Can, canter up the long side and... Good. And then you start to feel her rhythm and natural canter. That's really good. It's the canters on the show jumpers that always get me there so much longer. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I lose it, guys. So she is really good horse actually to train on. She's quite rhythmical. Uh, quite what, sorry? She's quite rhythmical. Yeah, very. Um, you know, so it's quite easy to say, stay the same speed and lengthen and shorten the stride within the same rhythm. Okay. For training purposes, that's, you know, that's something we're trying to achieve all the time.
Very good. And then the next time around, see if you can do a flying change. Okay. <laughs> now when you're ready, little half hold. Ah. <laughs> and right, super, Sorry, very good. <laughs> very good, and then go back into your rhythm. Got my legs a bit muddled. <laughs> that was good. Then we'll do the same from the right to okay. the left. Nice and straight. Think left. Good. Beautiful. She's so cool. Very good. And then when you're ready, go back down to walk. Ooh. Just think walk. Super. I'll sit tall. Walk. Good. And have a little catch of breath. Whew. Good. So warm up was very successful. <laughs> if only we could end there. <laughs> She is very cool. Yeah, she's lovely, isn't she? Oh, it's so amazing sitting on this calibre of horse. It's just like yeah. a yeah, different no, animal. She's, she's brilliant. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Aren't you cute? Did you not understand what I was asking that first flying change? Now this is my kind of show jumping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to go up quite rapidly, I can promise you. Oh no, <laughs> I don't want to hear that. <laughs> So when you're training at home, would you say you do more like course jumping or more exercises? Or? I think it depends entirely on um, the age and experience of right. the horses. Our older horses, we generally, um, you know, do more smaller gymnastic work. Oh really? Yeah. Just to keep them supple, they, they know the job. We don't need to jump big jumps. Yeah. We do enough of that when we're out competing. Yeah. Um, so with those, it's more getting them relaxed when they jump in and, and making oh, sure that's that... that's really interesting, yeah, because I suppose like, that's what it's all about, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Like being able to use themselves. Absolutely, and keeping them confident and enjoying themselves. Yeah. Um, you know, they don't need to be clear or jumping great every time we jump them. They just need to relax and yeah. feel everything and put everything back together. Um, the younger horses, they would jump more courses so that we... We start to train them different, you know, the technical side of things, line, yeah. lines and uh, dog's legs, so one jump on a curve to another jump and things like that. That's where the All course the is really helpful for young shows. ones. Yeah. And where we're lucky to have this arena, we can build those courses. Yeah. Um, where they're younger, they're, they're still being educated every time we jump them. Yeah. The older ones, they more or less know what they're doing by the now, hopefully. <laughs> uh, so, so we're just keeping those ticking over at home. Good girl. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. So we're just gonna start, because you, this is the first time you've rode happy. Yep. Um, and this is actually a great exercise for everyone to do. We do it with older ones and younger horses. <laughs> um, we're just gonna start with a pole and it's very simple, it's, we're gonna come off the right and um, nice and straight over this pole two canter strides and over that pole okay and this is for you just to learn the rhythm you know two strides should just feel like you the poles are not even there okay so if it feels a little bit long then our strides then our rhythm is too slow uh -huh. if it's a bit short then our rhythm is yeah too fast okay bro so we ideally want to have the same rhythm from back there before we turn the corner to after we turn yeah. the corner after yeah. the pole. And from now, look at the pole, think straight, the rhythm. Good, very good. <laughs> did I need a little bit more canter? A little bit, so okay. just, did you feel just as you turn the corner, it, you, I you went a little it a bit. bit slower? So just this time as we turn the corner, we're just going to about think, Ooh. keep the same rhythm of <laughs> stride, the length of stride. Okay, that's fine. So no more. Just think here, keep that, keep that, keep that. There you go. Good. One, two. Super. Very hey. good. Very good. Give her a pat. Good girl, sweet pea. 
So that Got time it's streaming. It all very smooth. Oh, no, that was scary, but good girl. Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> the tears are actually from the wind, yeah, not I from know. me being terrified. Not adverse to crying on camera though, so it could happen. <laughs> So exactly the same, just because the jump's there, we don't need to change the rhythm. We've established that our rhythm and uh, poles are perfectly okay. at the moment. So now we just need to focus on keeping the rhythm and keeping everything the same ourselves. Good. One, two, stay the same. Keep going. One, two. Good. Good girl, sweet pea. Good Meg, very good. <laughs> and again, because the jump was there, we started thinking a little bit before the corner about the jump, looking yeah. for a stride back there. We don't need to do that. We think about the rhythm and then the jump, the stride will come to us. Okay, so this is an interesting question then. Do you believe in like the seeing a stride? Yes, absolutely, but I believe that the word seeing, you know, yes, of course we use our eyes. Yeah. But it all comes out of a rhythm. Yeah. You know, the horses get comfortable in that rhythm. Yeah. Um, we see a stride and in that rhythm it starts to become easier to know if we're going to end up a bit closer to that jump or a bit further yeah. away from the jump. But also, it's very important because the horses also start to see their own stride. Yeah. So when they're in a consistent rhythm all the way around they'll start to know oh, I'm going to be a bit far away from this jump I need a bit more power yeah. or I'm going to be a bit close I'm going to slow down a little bit so it works for both horse and rider yeah of course so yes we see a stride but you don't know, get really hung up on it don't get hung up yeah. on it yeah good girl okay we'll go a bit bigger <laughs> who needs more than one cross pole yeah. eh? same again the rhythm and just try just to keep it flowing through the corner this time we okay. don't need to go faster just don't slow it there so one two stay the same one two stay the same stay the same super one two super very good <laughs> very good <laughs> she said i had a clip yesterday guys yeah she's getting a bit <laughs> excited now she knows what she's doing the approach was great just okay. in front of the jump we don't need to push so much okay so in that two just allow that to come so keep going there one two keep going keep going and sit still super very good keep coming keep coming keep coming keep coming good don't push straight straight much better very good good girl sweet pea very she's good she's incredible <laughs> she's just got so much ping good give what her a big girl pat. that's very good so now the rhythm is all is all good you're starting to feel how she jumps she's yeah. nice and light um yeah nice she wants walk, she wants to go to the other side just as much as we do so yeah. We've warmed up over a vertical, it was great. We're gonna move the exercise to an oxa. I love that, I've still got the pole. we still got the pole. So it's, it's great, this pole, because it's like a, a comfort blanket it, yeah. When, we, yeah. when we begin. We know everything's the same, so we can really warm up, controlled, make sure everything's right. We've got the rhythm right, the straightness, the control, and we know we're gonna take off more or less in the same place every time. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to, the only difference here is now we're going to come off the left rein, but she's balanced, so it should all be in theory the exactly the same. Good, so we don't need faster than that. Just keep the same through the turn. Keep the same through the turn. Good and patient. One, two, super. Good, good and half good. halt there. Very good. Why do we get so excited? <laughs> Is that, do you think I'm a bit like behind her balance or something? I don't think necessarily behind her balance. I think sometimes because it's an oxer, then we put a bit more pressure on um, than we did at the vertical. Yeah. 
it's an oxa she's feeling good yeah she wanted to do a good job so she she knew she did a good job and landed <laughs> a bit excited <laughs> and uh and i think she heard she she heard you was coming and wanted to test you out a little bit <laughs> good girl it's like the height i build up to in my sessions <laughs> So one more, so we know she's more than capable of jumping it. We don't need to think it's any different than the vertical. Yeah. The rhythm was great. Stay nice and tall. Good. One, two, stay the same through the turn. One, two, super. One, two, good, sit up. Good, Meg, very good. Okay. Great, so just one more time, exactly the same, and just be aware on when you land, don't anticipate a running off, just land, think straight, sit up, try and do like a nice half halt before that corner, uh -huh. just to really tell her, no, no, I'm on top of you, I'm in control. Okay. We've not finished a job. That's also important when we're warming up, because when we do a course, there's gonna be one jump after another, so yeah. if you can't jump one jump and, I think that's job done. And stay the same through the turn. Keep it. Now sit up, sit up, half hole. Ooh. Outside rain. Ah, very good. Good girl. Very, very good. <laughs> oh God. Very good. She is dead cool. She's very happy to be jumping. So that was great because that time you did a little half halt the two times before she was a bit fresh excited yeah and there she saw oh actually she's giving me an instruction here i'm yeah. going to start to listen and she did she did in fairness so she, i'd say she's just about ready now to jump around the course oh my god <sighs> okay <laughs> should we put some down or i haven't even jumped without my placing pole yet it's like a meter also always feel the need to show horses water trays even though this is literally her home and she's a show jumper <laughs> you sure we shouldn't put them all down to like 80 or we're gonna put them up another 80 in a moment why are we so feisty is it the people turning up out of the corner of your eye darling good girl so we've had a good warm-up we know where the buttons are, we know the correct rhythm. So now it's time to jump around the course. We've got all the foundations right, so now we've got to put them to the test. We're going to start number one here. And your pole has now gone away. So you can imagine it and it will be perfect start. And then nice and straight. And then we're going to turn and we're going to go all the way down to the black and white jump. That is every rider's nightmare. Yeah, I was, yeah. Because the jump is so far away, yeah. we have all this time to think about trying to get our perfect stride. Yeah. But we're going to use all this time to stay on the correct rhythm. Nice of you to give me that as a second fence. Stride. Thanks for that. <laughs> nice and straight. You're going to jump your little blue and white. Yeah. Now that's four strides then down to the double. And am I am I going to have to do much in that? Because I'm no. a classic land and pull. So I... that is a bit why I've put that there for you. Because okay. should you be in the correct rhythm, if you think if that was a pole on the floor, yeah. it should be exactly the same four strides. So you should just jump that four strides and that's same rhythm, job done. Okay. Let her do the work, yeah. jump the jump. Then after that, Nice control, make sure the rhythm's correct. We'll jump this white oxer here. Okay. Okay? Yep. So, first rhythm, turn the corner, nice and straight. Keep the same rhythm, not too much push in front of yeah. the jump. Yeah, I think that's my like nervous yeah, thing, so isn't it? Yeah, so just allow her, she knows what to do. At the end okay. of the day, our job is to try and put her as good a place as we can to jump the jump is her job. Yeah, yeah. Relax. So one, two, stay the same. One, two, stay the same. Two, stay the same through the turn. One, two, nice and tall. One, two. Yeah, that's sorry, fine. I'm Don't sorry. Worry. Should I keep coming? Keep coming, yeah. Now the rhythm's quickened a little, so stay the same. One, two. Don't push. One, two. Very good. And sit up again, half halt. One, two. Look at the jump. 
One, two, stay the same. One, two, keep going. One, two, three, four. I'm Whoop. so sorry, horsey. And it's okay, get the rhythm. Oh my God, Jay, I'm so sorry. Sit, do a circle if you need to. Two, one, two. Good, good. Oh. <laughs> good. Okay, give her a pat. When you said you were, that she's forgiving, you were very, very right. Well done, baby girl. That was good for a first time what did round. I, what did I do in there? Did I add? You added one stride, so yeah. the last stride was really short. Yeah, God, I'm so sorry. Because oh. for two reasons, we landed that jump, and we just needed to look a little bit at that jump and allow her to make that distance okay. stay in the same stride. Okay. And then at the end, just be positive that she'll just jump in there. God. She is. Oh, bless her heart. <laughs> She, she knows where the jumps are, just be positive, allow her to do that. Yeah, yeah. Also, I think as the course, as we went round the course, our range started to get a little bit longer. Okay. So then our balance ended up a little bit behind her. Uh-huh. So without knowing it, Ooh. our body weight is driving her forward from our saddle. Uh, okay. So if you keep your rein a bit shorter, where you are now, you sat absolutely perfectly. Okay. So you're in the centre of balance yeah. all the time. Yeah. So we can do the same course and then this time again after the jump like we did with the white one a little half halt yeah that's our chance the rhythm and then the earlier you can get the rhythm back you don't have to worry about that when you turn the jump to the next uh-huh okay and just allow her to move a little bit more off yeah that just, blue one. just as you jump the blue just get your eyes on that you know it's four strides so just land think let her canter forward. Okay. You added one there, so you know, if you take one out, I'd be very surprised. It'd yeah. Be quite scary. <laughs> Definitely but... do not plan on doing that. <laughs> that would be the end of me. But your approach there was quite good. Just, you know, jump that and think forward to that jump. Okay. I felt so bad there. She had to get me out of proper trouble. <laughs> she, she, didn't, she didn't struggle with that. Good. So stay that rhythm. We're going to stay nice and relaxed. One, two, stay the same, keep going. One, two, one, two, two, one, two. Good, that's fine, half halt. Good, good, you've got it, good. Don't push, one, two, don't push. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's Sorry. fine, good. Sorry, Half good halt, girl. half halt, look at the jump. One, two, one, two, one. Sorry, two. had to worry. wimp out. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. Good so girl. now, Come as on. you turn the corner, look at your jump already. One, two, one, two. Stay the same. One, two. Good. Think forward. One, two, three. Sit up. Good. And half halt. Good. Good. Half halt still. Two, one, two, one, two, tall, tall, super, half halt again, <laughs> good. I think because she's so much more, athletic than mine i don't appreciate that she can just jump from anywhere can't she like when she's deep she's still just like Phew. definitely yeah she can you know if you think the best riders in the world are they in the perfect place every time yeah i highly doubt yeah. it you know but what they are very good at is when wherever they are they, they do the best job of that situation yeah so they give the horses confidence obviously the horses are also unbelievably talented but at whatever level you jump in, your horses should be more than capable of what you're trying to do. Yeah. So believe in them. She's just amazing. Because I feel like even 
with here I felt like I pushed more because I was wanted to make it and then I was a bit too definitely quick for that. yeah she you, you like, did a great job early on and then just have confidence in the middle that she's, she can jump out there yeah. nice and relaxed she's she feels like a Ferrari that was very very good <laughs> I can't seem to nail that black one I keep getting really close to that I think maybe we will do we'll do the black one and the line just one more time okay as I said in the beginning of the course like you see jump offs they always put the last jump really far away so the riders gallop oh and of course they start picking the strides up from 10 15 strides away you're right now you say it's that it's very that difficult is, yeah. to jump because we're always trying to get to the jump quicker than we need to be yeah so this time I want you literally not even to think about the jump until you get to me. Okay. And I'm quite close to the jump. I would say I'm probably two strides away. You're maybe. my pole now. I'm your pole. You just lie down. Exactly. <laughs> One, two, stay the same, stay the same. One, two, stay the same. Two, one, two, one, two, super. Half halt there. Good, look at the jump. One, two, stay the same. One, two, stay the same. Think forward. One, two, sit up. Ah, very good. And half halt, the job's not done. You are incredible. Very good. Oh my God, you don't know how happy that makes me. Very, that felt very so good. good. You oh. see how simple that was, just yeah. the rhythm and me standing there it was perfect jump there and the four now is four strides to the double is also really really easy. Oh. Oh. Very very good. That felt so good. That I felt excellent. like a show jumper. <laughs> now there's one more thing that we need to do before oh. we finish. <laughs> we need to jump a bigger jump. Yeah, why not put the fillers in? Are you, am I having the pole? No. What? You've had a perfect stride every time now. I haven't. So, as the jump gets bigger, what do you think we need to change? I'm assuming nothing. Absolutely okay. nothing. All you need to do is smile as you go over the jump. Okay, okay. All right, I'm not gonna think about it. Let's just do it. So the fun. same rhythm. Nice and straight, don't push. Let her do the jump. One, two, one, two. Tall, 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 tall. Super Meg. Good. That was perfect. I can't believe I just did that without pooing my pants. That was absolutely perfect. <laughs> Oh my word. That was so good, I think I think you've been riding her in the middle of the night or something. <laughs> Did you not see me last night <laughs> under torches? Good girl. That was freaking incredible. Very, very good. Thank you so much. Pleasure. That, oh, honestly, can't put into words how happy that makes me. Because <laughs> like, I completely lost my confidence early this year after a fall. So doing something like this, I'm just like... Yeah, definitely. I think it... You know, and also the warm-up. You know, you hadn't been on her before, so it's that really just set the foundations yeah and then coming to that then you had something to think about yeah. you know you yeah. had your rhythm correct you know yeah you had to think about something else rather than letting the jump take over yeah yeah and you rode it perfect oh my gosh honestly cannot thank you enough this has been amazing <laughs> happy you have made me very happy i've been hoping i'd get to say that yes <laughs> Oh, you are so cool. Good girl. Right, well, I think we'll get her back in the barn. Massive thank you, Jay, for letting me, letting me ride her and for an amazing lesson. 
very confidence giving. I don't know if you want me to promote loads of people coming in for lessons, but it's kind of too Absolutely. late because as soon as you've made me do that, <laughs> people are going to be like, oh my word, he's a miracle worker. Um, but yeah, can definitely, definitely recommend bringing a, a truckload of horses over. I think I might have to make the trek up. Well, that'd be a fun vlog. Many plans being made. <laughs> right, guys. Yeah, Jay's literally, Jay's gone. <laughs> um, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll catch up outside the stables when I'm slightly less buzzing. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, too long. I ain't got all weekend. We had a good run, yeah, good run. But the clock is ticking. I gotta move on, yeah, move on. I got things to do all without you. Mm -hmm. Tell me how I can make this easier. Yeah, guide me. I don't want you to. Oh my god, happy. I feel like you and I have bonded. She's like, no, back to dad. <laughs> Good She's girl. I'm gonna miss you, I think. Oh, thank you so much for that. That was my pleasure. Amazing. I genuinely can't stop smiling. Yeah. It was so good. You are a proper little Ferrari. <laughs> Definitely will be uh, following your progress and I'll leave strides socials down below so that you guys can follow along with not just happy but all of the horses at strides equestrian but a massive thank you jay this honestly means uh, so well, much that you've, been great you've let us come you. over Thanks for coming thank you so the last little thing to tease you guys know the drill by now jay is the only person that knows what video is coming next so without giving anything away have you got any advice so i would say watch and learn and them. enjoy it i think that's very very sound advice brilliant well thank you so so much be sure to head over to instagram guys because around rube are sponsoring this video and there is that epic giveaway they have donated two tickets to the gct in london in chelsea you'll have the time of your life so head over there follow strides equestrian and live love love you and i'll see you next time She is stupidly good. pretty. Yeah. Listen, don't let go. It's like, Meg, your videos are boring. Can we get off this? Snooze.